Hey everyone, welcome to the first video of our Spring Boot web uh, series. In this video, we will learn how to create Spring Boot project and build our first app that returns a simple text and HTML page. We will use VS Code for everything. So let's get started. So in our previous video, we have seen, we have also seen that uh, how to create uh, Spring Boot projects using VS Code but uh, we will see another alternative for that so first of all we will open the chrome and we'll go to this url start.spring.io this is also a spring initializer where we can create our spring projects so first of all in this in this section we are going to do some configuration such as in the project section we will select maven because we will uh, use Maven for handling our dependencies such as uh, our MySQL connector, Spring Web, Theme Leaf. Okay. And in language section, of course, we will select Java. And here we can select our Spring Boot version. I am going with 3.4.5. Okay. In the project metadata section, here is a group. A group, uh, you can assume that it, it is uh, like our package for our project and artifact and name are the same here artifact means our name of the app or web app so here we will we are saying that hello spring is our name of our web app okay and uh, na then here is a description it's optional to give description okay so in the next section here is, you can see dependencies so here we for time being we are uh, adding some dependencies such as spring web so here we can only type web and we can uh, add it by clicking on it we have uh, added two dependencies here you can see spring web and theme leaf after doing all this we can simply click on generate okay here our file is being downloaded so we are opening it in explorer and simply we are just extracting it after extraction I will just show you a simple way to open uh, the folder directly in VS Code. So first of all, we will type here CMD and then command prompt will be open. So here we can type code dot and press enter. Automatically our VS Code will open the folder of our Spring Boot project. Okay. Here you can see our project folder has been opened, which is uh, named Hello Spring and in this section you can see src and in main you see two folders java and uh, resources okay the ja java.main folder contains our main applications okay and the resources folder here are uh, application properties which will consist of our properties such as suppose if you want to change the server port server dot port so here we can specify which port we want to use for our uh, spring web application here i am saying that 8080 okay and we can simply save it after saving here you can see two more folders static and templates templates folder we are using it to store our front end pages such as html and static folder we can save our assets such as images js files css files okay so let's go in the main folder in main folder we will contain all our java files and here you can see one file is already created by the spring boot so after uh, till now uh, like uh, here the file is being created till uh, we will just uh, see what is spring boot spring boot is a java based framework used to build web applications and rest api uh, you can uh, assume that it is like flask framework in python it does the same work okay it uh, gives us apis it makes easier to create apps with embedded servers like tomcat so in uh, Spring Boot comes with embedded Tomcat. We don't have to configure Tomcat separately. Okay. Say you can think of a Spring Boot as a shortcut to create powerful Java applications with less setup and more features out of the box. 
so after i guess our project is been ready so we will start creating our project uh, i guess i have gone through the structure of the project okay like i have explained what is static what are templates application properties and main folder so we will create our first controller okay uh, so we can just right click on this and create a new file called uh, hello controller don't worry we will just uh, explain what is controller in the next upcoming videos till now i am just showing you how to print hello uh, using spring boot okay after clicking okay our file is being created yeah our file has been created so in controller you can assume controller as a file which will give us apis for specific urls such as we can type here controller and uh, it will automatically auto complete it like you can just type cunt and control space you will get controller org spring framework dot stereo type you can just click on it and then in it suppose we want to we want a url on uh, suppose first of all for you there are two types of uh, mapping first is gate mapping and another one is post mapping gate mapping is mostly used when we want to fetch data and post mapping is mostly used when uh, a form form submit button is clicked or you want to give data on a html pages okay so firstly we will type at the red gate mapping and we will say we want gate uh, we want mapping on url hello slash hello sorry and for this we want to return a function like public string and we can give any name to this function i am giving it hello this will return a hello uh, you guys are uh, thinking that it will return hello string but it's not like that as of we are using theme leaf theme leaf is a uh, uh, theme leaf is used to render html templates so here hello means our html template name so we have to create it i have also previously said you guys that we can create our html or front end pages in templates folder so let's create it so we will create a file called uh, hello.html in this file we will going to write a simple html code like uh, html head title title we can give anything mm, great okay and then body tag in body tag we will just print hello this is spring boot and we'll hit okay this is enough for us and you know guys uh, as we are using uh, theme leaf we just have to add one line at the starting which says xml ns colon th is equal to http http colon double slash dot thy theme leaf dot org okay sorry yeah i guess this 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 is enough and we'll save this also so uh, you guys know that how to run the spring boot app so we just have to come to our main application you can see spring boot application this uh, no annotes that uh, this is our main application page okay so we have to run this 
not page it's a class okay sorry my mistake as of you are seeing uh, it's running here when it's running is finished we can see the output yep the running is completed it said started spring application okay so we just go to our browser and we can type localhost colon slash 8080 oops it says white label error page uh, you don't know why the error is coming but i know i will tell you here uh, as you can see in the hello controller we have told that we want api on this url so we have to write this url after the localhost so we'll just copy and we'll just paste it afterwards and hit enter so as you guys can see here the hello this is spring boot is already here so as of now our controller is working really fine and uh, so far we have learned to create a spring boot project build our first controller return the text and html pages in the text video we will in the next video we will explore how to organize our code better using different layers like service repository and controller okay and uh, it's a best practice to uh, move the controller in the separate folder like we will create here controller and we will move this into controller yes Yes, it's been moved. Okay, sorry. Here it will be controller. Okay, and I guess our app is running fine. So you guys are thinking that we can only create one controller, but that's not like that. We can create another controller, just like new file, uh, test. Con co controller dot java and here again we have to write annotation such as controller this uh, tells spring boot that this particular file is a controller and uh, here we will say get mapping i'll use directly sahil or cs corner corner and here we will return uh, we don't need any kind of parameters here hello will be our name of the method and it will return a html page of test okay we will save it and we will create another template i will just copy it and paste it again here and rename it rename such as what we are test okay test.html and here we will say welcome cs corner we will save it and i hope we have to rerun this let's check uh, we'll test we'll type test yep we have to rerun this we are restart the server okay our server is restarted now we will retry oh why is this error test controller dot java oh sorry we are we have created for this url my mistake and here you can see welcome cs dot corner so we can create as much as controller we want for this video that's all so see you in the next video guys bye bye 
सो गाइज इफ माई वीडियो हैज रियली हेल्प यू डोंट फर्गेट टू हिट ऑन लाइक बटन इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू कैन पुट इन कॉमेंट बॉक्स और यू कैन सेंड मी ऑन माई आई जी ऑल्सो आई विल श्योरली रिप्लाई टू योर क्वेरीज एंड गाइज इफ यू रियली लाइक माई वीडियो डू शेयर विथ योर फ्रेंड सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो बी बेनिफिटेड विद दिस वीडियो and very important for me guys is your subscription if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon to receive notifications from my channel guys i'm there on different social media all my social media handler is given in description box you can join me or follow me there also i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes on my telegram channel that too freely related to interview and study material you can join that and guys my um, website is also mentioned in description box you can check out for notes and everything so thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye take care keep watching and keep learning guys